children in the last class we have uh, done some questions based on the number system where two digit uh, decimal number was provided and you have to convert them into the uh, equivalent binary number system so let's take uh, two more examples of uh, two digit numbers then we will move forward towards the towards uh, solving the three digits number so like suppose that if you have uh, first question that is 54 base 10 and then you have to convert it into the uh, binary form and the second question is of uh, uh, 94 and uh, having the base 10 and then again you have to convert it into the binary equivalent. So uh, let's see the first question how you will do the first question that if uh, 54 is the number you will start dividing it up by 2. 27 will be the quotient and 0 will be the remainder in the next step you will go for 13 times and the remainder will be 1 again in next step also you will go for 6 times again 1 will be the remainder next in the next you will be having 2 and 3 will be the quotient 0 will be the remainder next again 3 is divided by 2 you will be having 1 remainder and 1 as a quotient after this it will again go with 0 and 1 times will uh, 1 will come as the remainder so from here onwards I have told you that you have to write it from down to upside so what you will be writing over here the output for this will be what it will be equal to 1 1 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 0 so this is the exam uh, this is the answer for this question so this is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 54 okay on the board you can see the next question uh, this next question is uh, 94 so uh, again you have to divide it by 2 using the uh, repeated uh, division method and there will be 47 as the quotient 0 will be the remainder next step uh, 23 1 will be the remainder in the next step it will go from 2 again and 11 will be the quotient, 1 will be the remainder, next it will go for 5 times, 1 will be the remainder, in the next step it will again go for 2 times, 1 will be the remainder, now this time again if you will divide it and 1 will be the quotient, one, 0 will be the remainder and at last you will divide it 1 by 0, 1 by 2, so it will go for 0 times, 1 will be the remainder, so from here to upside you will write down the answer so what will be the answer for this the answer is 1011 1011 1011 and 110 so this is uh, this is how you will be solving the questions